Good afternoon, everyone. How's it going? So this will be a short stream, most likely. Uh, my wife is walking the boy, and my daughter is in her room grounded for being a jerk. <laughs> so I have like an hour, uh, uh, maybe an hour. My monitors are all messed up. All right. We left with uh, doing the spider mission. We finished the spider mission. We have this guy, Marshall, trailing this very small UFO. And uh, we have a whole bunch of manufacturing I started up just to do a big resupply. We haven't done one for a while. So we're going to finish uh, this alien laser cannon just so we get that cache and clear up that space. And we don't need... I don't need to make any of this stuff here. Uh, what else? We can get rid of you. And energetic blood plasma. We don't need any of that stuff. Not here. Good. What I do want to do, however, is over here, we're making medikits. Excellent! And that reminds me, I can transfer over 10 to Q-Base. Not Q-Base. You're not an active base. Not yet. You guys are sort of on your own for that. But we'll go ahead and send those over there. And we'll eventually send 10 over to every place possible. Given time. I'll actually just make another... 20. That's all you're doing. And when we run out of money, we'll go back to making more of those rifles. But right now, we are just clearing up a bunch of this space. So they're really fast stuff that I can get out of here really fast. <laughs> uh, let's see here. And we'll make that real quick. To get rid of all our negative space. Oh, look, this is new. Uh, this reminds me. I want to make uh, some of this because I don't know if it just never appeared for us before. So the UAC chain gun now has a titanium ammo, which is excellent. And we can take a look at it. So while you're trading the UAC chain gun, you're getting a little bit more accuracy at a little bit range. You lose six bullets, so you get 18 versus 30 in a turn. But you have the 48 damage here, which is really nice. So we're going to give this a go, I think. I think we're going to give it a go. We haven't been using our miniguns a lot anyway. Uh, how much do you weigh, by the way? Uh, 22 versus 28 versus... Um, I've really been waiting for this to get the um, AA ammo, but we don't have it. So I think this might be the way to go. We get a little bit more damage than this, a much uh, more convenient package. So, while we are waiting for this, let's buy one of these for each base. Uh, it's under hidden, I think. Oh, no, it's a chain gun. But I still think it's hidden. Yeah. Alright. We'll just buy one for each base. We're going to be pretty much kitted out solely in UAC stuff. <laughs> After a while. Uh, UAC chain gun. It keeps saying I'm going to use a UAC SMG, but that's just not going to happen. Well, let's be honest here. All right. We'll make the rocket pack, and then we'll make the UAC chain gun ammo. And then I have to, 100%, I have to. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, let's go check out what we're fighting here. Johnny America. I mean, if you can't kill with that. Let's give you something uh, long range to start off with, of course. Everyone's equipped. That's fine. Delta, you're a rookie. Four, five. There we go. Five is my rookie. I'm a rookie because I died last time. But we have ammo for that. I wish we had, uh, again, you know, more things we should have. In, and trit ammo should be the scout drone stuff. Oh, this is a totally a rookie brigade. That's fine. Oh, the rookies. Oh, the rookies. Uh, da, da, da. No, you can drop that. You're not strong enough to throw that any significant distance anyway. All right. You're primed. All right. <laughs> 
How are you still a rookie? We went through that whole last mission. I guess you just didn't even uh, use it. Nice. Obviously, you didn't. Amelia? You know what, Amelia? Let's swap you out for that. All right, Breezy. We're good. No, oh, I thought that was nighttime. My bad. Hey, Ian, how's it going? Uh, today, it's just a very, a very short mission. I can't guarantee how long I'll be here. This is the landed, very small. A landed scout. In Hawaii. With a whole bunch of rookies. Oh my god, Celestial. You got a baby. You got to name your baby now. <laughs> Extreme baby. <laughs> hey, Blobka, how's it going? I'm going to keep you here to watch uh, that door or those stairs. I find small scouts land all the time, generally. Uh, if they don't land, they're just searching for your base. All right, we can go ahead and just put that down. We don't need those. Free up my hands. It's actually a pretty good starting spot. I mean, grand scheme of things. Not for Breezy, because he has a highly explosive weaponry. But, you know, for other people, it's great. Drex, you guys can uh, you sit back here. Yeah, I'll just go over here. Bring the dog back. How's everyone doing today? You know the problem I I, I had I have a whole bunch of these uh, melee kits with my you know my normal throwing kit, but everyone here is a rookie, so again I would not have the range to throw those. Not with this group. Oh excuse me, I'm tired. My 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 son just stopped sleeping at night. I don't know what's going on. I think he's broken. I need to return him. A free sun for sale. A nice little alley. Actually, this is set up really nicely, as you would expect it to be. This, however, does not make sense. Well, you know, I guess you can have gas uh, gas pumps inside your garage. I guess that's okay. Wow. That's extra trashy. My goodness. I don't think I've seen this tile set before. We just got to find the UFO. Uh, as such, we're going to use these uh, windows or roof access if I can. No, we'll use the windows up here. Because I think he has to spawn in the UFO for this. I'm fairly certain. Ninety-nine percent certain. Eh, it's not that bad. You put in a vent, you're fine. You're good to go. It's no more dangerous than having a dust collector inside your house. Or inside your woodworking shop. And those are as, if not more, explosive. Speaking of, we just actually had a dust collector explosion in town from a metal shop. Most vents are passive for that reason. I mean, we come from, you know, Mill City, basically. We've had lots of grain silo explosions out here. Alright, so. 
Oh, the son and the wife are back after their walk. I don't know if he's asleep. The daughter is still grounded in her room, but she hasn't made a peep either. So this might be a very short stream. We'll see. I'm just trying to sneak to center here right now. That's the fastest way to get through there. How you doing, Blobka? I I heard you say that you were becoming a real human. Is that what I saw on Discord? Hey, yeah. I think our natural disaster thing here is going to be tornadoes and uh, I guess mostly tornadoes. Alright, I'll just go through this wall. Probably right over there. This might be the worst map. As much as I like this tile set, I one of my favorites. This might be the worst map for a <laughs> for a very small UFO it's to find the damn thing. <laughs> oh, meth! I shouldn't laugh. There you are. All right. Found it. Now let's go. There's a hole in that wall. I'm just a lonely milk machine. No, it's I'm the Hated Milk Machine. That's right. That's a good song. Five points to anyone who knows where that song is from. your gran granny's doing okay. It's always rough when they hit that age. I'm starting to get worried about my parents hitting that age. They are not very active. Well, my parents are actually pretty active. My in-laws are not active at all. So they are at the... Well, there was that drama right before my son was born where my, my mother-in-law broke her ankle. In three places. What are you thinking of for a normie job? What do you consider a normie job? Stand next to those barrels. I wanted to feel bad for her, but I, I couldn't. I could not. As callous and cruel as that sounds. Because they're so inactive. I can't wait till I go back into normie work. I am really looking forward to getting and interacting with other adults <laughs> for the majority of my day. I cannot wait. We're going to move forward. I'm going to assume they're not in that back corner. I don't think there's any reason that we need to... You just cannot quite get through that. It is, and she'll, she'll never recover full uh, use of it because, again, she's very inactive, and this just makes her more inactive. So, I mean, she's walking again, but you can tell it's not... Again, it's not full. Full use.
No. No! It's you. If you manage to kill one of my guys, I'll be very surprised. Definitely wounded, though. There's no way you survive that. Well, do I need another... Oh, barely wounded. Do I want you alive? No. You know what? I'll give you a shot. Since you're here. Since you're here. Nope, oh, not that one. <laughs> Don't do that one. Ah, oh, one wound. Alright, Elvis, congratulations. It's just a soldier, I think. Yeah. Alright, hey, we made some money. Hey, Scorch, how's it going? You know, it was, think of it as melee training. I did, oh, it's just from healing, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. You can sell that, and you can sell that. I've researched you, right? I'm 90% certain I have a, a soldier. We'll, we'll just keep you just in case. There we go. All right. I have. I would love this screen to come up before the cell screen comes up. Very much. Do I hear baby screaming? Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's a baby screaming. All right, we'll see. Again, I said it be, might be a very short day. All right, so that was uh, Katanite in Hawaii. I wonder what they're doing over there. Excellent. Oh, come back. Come back home. And that craft still hasn't made it home, has it? There you go. All right, uh, I need to make stuff for the other bases, so that means I need to make one of these right now. Uh, let's make two, and then we'll make two later. Crowbar acquisition. Uh, yesterday we just did the abandoned syndicate lab. So no, nothing important. Hey, we got our crowbar. Excellent. Does it have any special, anything special here? Uh, ignore stun immunity. Oh, ignore damage. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Stun dead does not damage armor. All right. No wounds. All right. Monstrous breed. Are we doing that elsewhere? Let's um. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Get our flame and our death spider done. We are not researching monstrous breed yet. Yeah, good. All right. Let's resupply. Yep. Oh, that's what I want to do next, after we make the alloy ammo. Flame spider. This giant spider has collected a significant amount of volatile gases in its body, like yours truly, thus gaining the ability to breathe fire. Killing the spider usually results in a small explosion. Did not see that. The death spider. We did not get the armored spider. Oh, that was a big... Uh, Alright, Shog Village located. There's something. Is this underground? A military settlement of non-human sapiens living underground. Pawns of darkness. They are hostile to humanity and must be taken care of. Um... I don't think you can. I don't know. Never tried it. And hello, Mumbles. Alright. Underground are Shogs. Do they have the military... Military and what armor do I wear? Hmm. And I, this team is uh, actually, I have a whole bunch of guys coming over by here. Alright, uh, do we bring this team over there? How many? Oh, let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, I have enough. Just enough. That'll work. Ian, you get to sit this one out because of your wounds. Underground, underground. I'm probably going to do bio exosuits. 
so I can see better. No, I don't have enough. I never have enough bio exosuits. All right, let's sort by strength and then give the really strong guys shields. Now, I'm just going to go for the uh, sight range of the bio exos. And if it's a problem, it's, you know, whatever. All right. Yeah, I got motion scanners I got to make. I know. Which one's the tox again? I give that to someone. I only got one. Never mind. I only got one reload. I'm going to give someone uh, one of these. I'm tired of waiting for this ammo, so we're just going to bring it out and give it to someone and use it aggressively. Oh, here are the medkits. <laughs> there we go. All right, there's 10. All right, let's see. Oh, one last thing before I forget. Do I have enough... Yes, I do. We'll bring a backup set of 10. Heck yeah, we are. It only took three years. All right, Red Team, we don't need an escort for this. If we do, I'm just going to cry. <laughs> UFO spots right there. All right, we've got a Shog Village. You are about to assault a military settlement of non-humans living underground. Eradicate it to cripple Shog military efforts. To abort the mission, return XCOM operatives to the exit area and click on the abort mission icon. Fox Muldoon. All right, what have we got? Are these tunnels? I don't even know what this map looks like. Can I exit this map? Questions I don't know the answer to. Now, you're a little weak for this in the bio exo suit. But you are not weak for... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. How much is that way? I can't tell. It's too long. Perfect. I mean, you had to research them in vanilla, but they was uh, unlocked immediately. Right off the top of the bat. All right, Fox. We'll, we'll leave Fox with this kit. That's fine. Fire works against all things. Gonna give you a pistol kit. Dialot. Poor Dialot. The only Dialot in our um <laughs> the only thing to Dialot in uh our Darkest Dungeon playthrough. No, I'm gonna drop that. It's just too heavy. And I'm gonna remember I have these now. You know, actually let's let's do this. Let's get this set up correctly. You need for this, you need if I need this and this and a smoke because we don't have a f fire extinguisher on you. What are these way out of curiosity? Oh, nice. Very nice. Mental note up, redo the pistol kit. We'll save that as it is. Private Hopscotch. UAC shotgun. I could totally fix all those up as well. I'm cool with two over. Oops, two. Uh, peg the leg. I'll 
I'll drop one of these. <laughs> uh, fool. I'm going to go ahead and say... Sure. We'll give it a shot. Nunez is our quote-unquote non-lethal here. I'm going to drop that just for weight. I guess we got to... We should actually focus on non-lethal stuff. So let's see who we can make more non-lethal here. Uh, is five over too much? No, I think that's fine. Let's make you a non-lethal Elmer as well. Do I have a different one? I have a, yeah, here's my stun kit. We can get rid of that. But we'll give you some uh, backup as well. 68. Oh, you got one already. Never mind. Yeah, these make nice little uh, backup weapons, I think. Thirty-eight to sixty-four. That's fine. Man. Let's, uh, and then finally, let's give you a real shotgun. Orange. That works. All right, Johnny. Oh, that's actually a damn shame. I'll have to put you over here. I guess we should uh, use these up. Unless we actually get money for selling them. We probably bother with too much more. All right, let's see what we're facing. Well, not what I was expecting. What am I looking at here? Where are we on the map? Oh, all right. Is there an underground level? Someone with something in their hand. Maybe someone should have... Really? All that work I did? No, and we guess I guess we can throw things. There is the actual village. It looks like. Civ Five wasn't bad. That was the last save I played. Or Civ I played. Um. Actually, that's not fair. I played the uh, the Beyond Earth, but I guess that's not really a full-fledged Civ game, to be honest. I think I like Civ 3 the best. Oh, Yankee, that's not how light works. Oh, I guess it kind of is how light works. I guess. I guess. I'll allow it. Yeah, I have Civ 4 on a DVD or CD or whatever it was. Alright. I'm not sure about your uh, kit out here, fool. Just uh, I'm going to throw that out there. 
and I did not give you a reaction weapon, but you can't actually carry one right now, so it's not that big a deal. Sit there. My problem with uh, Civ, with uh, Civ games is they're not shipped complete anymore. I thought I would buy Civ Six once they finished doing the DLC for it, but it, I just took too long. <laughs> Basically, what that boils down to, I'm not interested anymore. I, I can't see. All right, a little hallway there. I, we need more guys over here. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. All right, I'll send you over with this group as well. Well, you know, to be fair, what I'm glad unit stacking got taken away because the game was all about stacks of doom, like 100%. What don't I see, and why did I get killed in one hit? Hmm. Meh. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, the Japanese market totally has DLCs. Hop on a console. So, are these guys immune? God, I can't... Huh. Huh. All I gotta say to that is, huh. Alright, I don't like these dark maps. Scorch. Especially uh, black eyes in these dark maps. Yeah, a baton. Are they all melee? That looks like a sling of some sort. Alright. They're melee. Let me get my uh, melee. Well, this changes my kit completely. I guess I have to let you come to me. And Pizza Man is wounded. That's XCOM at its finest right there, man. You know how that works. Private Hopscotch. How strong are you? Not strong enough. Eighty-one should be enough. Do 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 do. Where are my other clips?
Well, good news. If you die, you can just do that. We'll pull you back. I wish weapons could be a torches. I know. That's uh, I tried all the workarounds to get that to, to be a thing, but alas, does not work. Because we were talking about uh, making some of the pistols be really useful in that regard. That's a zero. And that's also a zero, but we have pre-armor damage. All right, I wonder if we can even stun them with this. Probably not. All righty then. I think we'll grab some corpses and skedaddle. I think that will be our plan. <laughs> See you, Celestial. Thanks for stopping by. And congratulations on your baby. They seem immune to explosions. I love when uh, the shotgun pellets go around a bad guy. My favorite. <laughs> All right, let's do some testing. Oh, hey, that worked. Shock lantern, shock cudgel. I think we're going to try to save you. You know what? But not by orange because... Uh, you can make it, actually. Oh, wait, I need uh, just enough. All right. There's a sweet spot right there. Unfortunately... There was totally... He died from a melee hit over here that I did not see. I gotta keep our eye open for that. And for some reason, that fire is not emitting light. <laughs> it's a magical fire. That's what that is. I need this right over there. I like that pallet uh, shift, by the way. I think it looks really nice. All right, so uh, that'll work. You can go ahead and auto that out. You're going to be my front line here, Dialot, just hanging out. Checking all this stuff out. And I need light over there. To see what it is, I can't see. <laughs> All right. There is a question. Will the UAC rifle actually do damage to these guys? There's my test. It's my test case.
Getting swarmed. All right, you know, the only reason I don't want to abort is because I don't want to lose the uh, bio-access suits. Like, that is literally the only thing driving my decisions right now. Because they are that expensive, zero. Why? Oh, he had a lantern, I bet. Why is he emitting light now? Are any of you bleeding? Let's get you on here. If we can't kill these two guys right now, we have to abort. How do you freaking miss <laughs> that rage? Well, they do take damage from it. Not a lot. Are you still alive? We are. They have a weird, like, uh, delay when they die. All right, do you think that I can actually not die from this guy over here? Well, we'll take a chance. Come on, just a little to your left. All right, they're taking damage, so it looks like they're just really tanky. So, let's step back here. Johnny, you have nothing to react with, unfortunately. I have Elmer, who's going to stand right here, and... You are gonna wait for something. Ah, oh, maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll be enough. Right there. Maybe. Let's give that a go. We'll try this turn. And uh I guess we try to save your butt. But I don't have a weapon for you. Oh, I do. It's right in my back pocket. Never mind. We'll try that next turn. Hey, guys. That was the walk. <laughs> hey, Meridian. How's it going? Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. My uh my bio access suit seem to be faulty. Or their melee damage is scaled up way too high. <laughs> way too high. All right. Yeah. Where did this guy go? God darn it. Oh, hello. Uh, apparently they can attack me from leisure from everywhere I go. Yeah, exactly. Go where? They're coming in from all three sides. Uh, you, actually. Why isn't that light going through there, though? Hey, Brandon, how's it going? Oh, welcome back. Or welcome. 
Alright, I got you here ready to shoot him if he wakes up. I think. We'll go for it. Alright, we got a live one. We got a live a Scorpioid Hunter. I'll grab that next turn. We got some corpses. Problem is all the smoke. That's our problem right now. Let me get you something reacty. Or grab that. Can I grab two? Quick math. You can't react anyway, so no big deal. And then we will bring that there. Have you watched from there? All right, good luck, Dorgo. I'm not gonna prime your stuff. We are in a shog village. I mean, let's be fair. If they're all melee, then my best place to be is in a wide open space. Away from doors. Now I just need a big industrial fan to get the smoke out of here. <laughs> Anti-smoke weapon requested, please. Alright, I'm worried about this corner. I, I do not have flying armor. I don't have flying armor on me. <laughs> Do you see any flying armor? This was underground. Why would I assume there was going to be uh, places to fly in an underground mission? Clearly labeled as such. Good. Who can see that guy? That is a very... If you can see that far, that's not nighttime, is it? A thrasher with uh, titanium ammo is always good. Except the only thing we had that the, thra that the uh, thrasher could not do anything against are the gazers. Alright, so it's just dark for dark's sake. <laughs> I like the name Heck. Alright, you can't react. We'll get you set up to do another proxy. If I move back, can I still see? I might have to move you over. That's a weird thing. Let's see if I can, uh... No, I guess not. Keep everyone back from that door a little bit. And you keep an eye out for that guy. All right. Nice shot with that UAC. All right, we just lost it with that auto cannon there. We're doing great until then. Is she asleep? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Basically, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's fair. All right, you can react, so we won't we won't have you go. How'd you do? Wow. This is the one time Brandon's actually watching with him and again we miss. Go figure, right? 
Oh, and we miss with that too, so he's in a, just a bad spot. That's a bad angle. It's not your fault, minigun. I'll take a shot. Yep, just a bad angle. There you go. We are bleeding. Got that covered, covered, covered. You can react, you can react. You're good. can't see over here, so let's just put one right there. We're just outside of effective minigun range. <laughs> I was just unprepared for what we were going across. I heard military encampment and I thought there would be. Uh, uh, weapons. I was not expecting a uh, black lobsterman. I hope that does not make me racist. Sixty-one. I would like to kneel, but I guess I can't. Darn it! Just off. All right. Dorgo, Dorado, what is your firing accuracy? 67. I was going to give you the rocket launcher. Uh, that's going to be a hard no right now. You know, you have no accuracy, so you get a minigun. That's how that works. Oh, too heavy for you. Darn it. Uh, too heavy. Screw it. These seem to be effective enough. And you see him. I'll take a shot with you. It looks like they're just tanky as hell. But not really big armor. Alright. There you go. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't killed that one on the ground, actually. This is just how I played uh, Xenonauts, basically. Whenever you had, uh, what were they called, Reapers? Reaper missions? Because you always knew a third of them would come straight for the landing zone, so you just put people back to back, and you just wait. A really intriguing gameplay decision right there. All right, let's take a peek. All right, there's no one there. I am just going to go ahead and... I'm going to put you against that wall. And I might actually wait for the smoke to clear before we actually move forward. It'd be silly not to. Uh, the letters are the stats they need to train. They're reverse stat strings. I have them linked in my Discord. Although I, I guess I gotta update them for the hybrids. Uh, I think actually uh, Brimcom might have done that for me already. You can, no, you can see it. You? Darn it. Never in the right place. <laughs> oh, I, I got time units. I'll take it. All right, you've been actually defying the odds with your shots, even though that one did no damage. Doesn't change the fact that you did hit him. <laughs> Jeez, I wonder why my one-handed uh, autocannon is uh, performing poorly today. <laughs> what could it possibly be? All right. Fool. Fool, fool, fool. What's your firing accuracy? 73. Do you think that'll do enough damage? I think it will. I need the accuracy boost anyway. 
Yeah, 98. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Just you guys. So sad. I think we should rescue that guy up there. I think we'll make a go for it. Uh, private hopscotch. Nice. Very convenient. A dial lot. Perfect. Alright, no proxies I need to worry about. How far can you go? We're gonna go away. And now people who might shoot at you will move over here. You know, you guys are just going to have to be lucky. You can't react, so you're fine. I sound like there's still a few left. Nice! A shot there. I like it. Still alive. Still worth saving. Oh, only one wound, that's why. And not quite enough from you. As you can't react, Johnny. Let's use these up. Alright. Two hunters, you need more ammo. The crit ammo worked just fine. As boring as this strategy is, I'm going to treat this like a Hobbs map right now. Alright, I am just still worried about this guy, but I guess we have a, a warning if he comes out. I wonder if that proxy is too close to those grenades. Probably. Probably is. Oh well. It's just money at this point. I wish the smoke would disperse. No one's moving. Alright, let's go and give that to that side. We'll grab another one. Look at me, guys. I'm using motion sensors. Aren't you happy? Like the dog biscuits of the XCOM world. How are you for ammo? All right. Yeah, before we actually move forward, let's go ahead and get everyone reloaded. Scorch, I'll ask you this. Why would I go into a cavern with tight corridors when everything's melee? How would that benefit me at all? <laughs> I think the only way to fix your name color is to be a Twitch Prime or whatever. It is deal. Uh, which one's better? I think we'll stick with this for now. Oh, I wanted to give that to you. That's what I wanted to do. And then actually swap you over to... Do you have a reload on you? You do. Yeah, maybe swapping you over to a pistol would be a better idea. Alright, and you are part of this group too. Oh, 
All I see here, okay, I, I, I see this big building over here, right? But I see these tight corridors here, which are natural choke points, which benefit me on this side or benefit them on this side. <laughs> I just don't see what I would gain. Hey, Toll, how's it going? That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. All right, at least the uh, the stones work on them, so I'm I'm happy with that. Makes this easier. Uh, throwing knives, and I'll just bring you an ammo. Yeah. Do I have any more big flares? All right. Very good. You'll need more ammo too. Don't need that. <laughs> All right, you grab this. I guess we'll swap you out for the uh now nah, we'll keep it we can one hand that at shotgun range that works just fine very good smoke looks like it's thinning out so we'll bring this four out that way we'll cover this door because it looks very popular Math, 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 math. All right. For the light, of course. <laughs> Definitely just for lighting. All right. I'll probably swap you out. What's your accuracy, Hopscotch? 81. Is that enough for the 4,000? I might swap you out too, die a lot. What are you at? The 76. All right. It was an alloy high X. Yes. For light. <laughs> For lighting purposes. Nice. Nice shot there. I was going to move forward, but they're just lining up over here. Far be it from me. <laughs> There's no way that's going to hit. But I got to take that chance. Nope. Because <laughs> you're there. Never in the right spot, man. Very good. The shog cudgel, is that what that is? Alright, I'll bring this crew out this way. Oh, speaking of. Speaking of mistakes, 22. Very good. Very nice. Bleeding and everything. All right, I will let you react to that guy. And I will do... Never mind. Come on, die a lot. 
Let's get you uh, 4,000. Let's do that next turn. Alright. The auto cannon is absolutely 100% one handed with shotgun ammo. <laughs> Again, accuracy doesn't matter with shotgun ammo. If I could one hand a minigun, I absolutely would. Go to sleep. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the follow, Brandon. Yeah, it's pistol for really, really, really strong people. All right. Looks like we're good over here. <laughs> it sounds like he is tired. <laughs> Gross. All right, so die a lot. Let's swap you out for something with a little bit more range right now. Good night, buddy. Oh, no, no. Let's see what your accuracy is with this. 95, I'll take it. A little overloaded. We could drop that. I will be adding that to the Poet ASMR challenge right there. Alright, I'll bring a fifth with this crew. Still a lot of movement. Still taking a long time. I don't like that. I think there's nothing over there. All right. I'm facing melee enemies that can kill me in one hit. What do you want me to do? I don't have enough rookies. There aren't enough rookies in the world. One, two. Let's hit the one in the back. No? All right. Uh, let's kill the guy in the front with you. No way we'll hit this, but we need to get you a different weapon for this. See, like, if they were zombies, I'd move. I'd move forward, because zombies don't always kill me in one hit. But here I am in my 50% melee reduction armor, and I'm still dying in one hit. So there's no chance. Are you behind that evil corner? You are. Alright, I will try to stun you. Is he in the wall? Is that what's going on here? I think. No, not quite.
Well, I guess we will if they're all going to be like this. A Shog Lantern and a Shog Cudgel. Is that a way out? Any secrets through there? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Kill those guys. I heard they're, well, I don't know if it's their stats, but yeah. I've heard their melee weapons are fantastic. Well, we can go take a peek. That all connected that way. One and two is way over there. Do you think that's far enough away? Yeah, I think so. I'll take that chance. You're out. Can I just use their melee weapons right off the bat? I got a name, right? A little curiosity. All right, I can. Good to know. All right, then. Proxy, proxy. Mental note. We don't see anyone else here. We're going to give you something more accurate, orange. Which, this stage in the game, one-handed and accurate. I don't have many of those. Let's grab those. Yeah, no, I just might need that as a shotgun. Use it as one at that range. We'll just move forward. I'm fine with that. All right, next turn, we'll move this group forward. How are you for reloads? You're good. All right. Yeah, if you can actually come closer before I shotgun you. like that. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh, who wants to go first? I have... One and two. They are close enough. We're doing damage. There you go. Accuracy is a myth. <laughs> it's just put forth by the man. seems to work good enough as well. I think he's far enough away where it's not a problem. Over there. Orange, a little overloaded. Let's just get you. We'll get these off your person ASAP because that's the eight weight that we need to take care of. All right. I guess I'll keep one person behind to take care of these guys. Private Hopscotch. Mm, 
All you. Oh, they can't panic. Excellent. Well, since they're over there, let's go ahead and take advantage of the time. Hey, we got one good hit in there. I'll take it. Are we explosive now? We are. And we're low on ammo. Nice throw, Jay. Weird lighting thing right there. Kite knife. Uh, super far away. That's your job, Hop's got to stand right there. Guys, I avoided all my proxies. <laughs> I deserve a medal. Alright, we got some good light there. I could use one more. Right over here. I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot freaking toot. Alright. I'm going to bring you over there. And they are flammable. I kind of miss using miniguns. Just a little. Four hits. At that horrible accuracy. Two, three. Not quite. And we'll worry about that door. You know what? Let's go take a peek. Let's go take a look. All right. Not what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that would be more exciting. Uh-oh. Not what I meant to do. Yeah, it's coming to my shotgun range. Oh, what's over there? Is that a disjointed exit? Is that what that is? So what's the reasoning behind having exotiles that aren't where you spawn? Out of curiosity. Oh no, those are... Oh, that's cool. I like that. Not a door? Oh, I see. A curtain, if you will. I'll take another aim shot. We can do it. There you go. And we didn't do that. Also, I love reloading miniguns because that means you've been having a lot of fun. Alright. That is... 
a huge ass map. Go ahead and just throw that in over there. Take that. No, you stay there. That's fine. I'll send these stun guys in there. You can get one reload left. That's a fair explanation. What's the gamma map uh, hotkey again, Meridian? Actually, you can't react, so you go first. There you go, Johnny. You are going to be the MVP today. Control end. Thank you. We'll just do it here just in case. No, that wasn't stream lag. That was a. Uh, that was just the game slowing down. I think when you get a kill on a minigun, it slows down the remaining bullets. Or something. I've noticed it before. That's true. Good point. It's just a force of habit. Water cooler. <laughs> that's, where they, that's where they shoot the shit. After day of doing their underground uh, the lobster stuff. Is that a one handed weapon? 22. That is a heavy weapon. Alright, let's give you the explosive first. We know there's a guy over here somewhere, unless he was bleeding. And we just let him be. One of these has a lantern on it. Oh, hey, they weigh as much as my my special flares. My cheaty flares, as some would say. I should go look in there, but... I don't want to. You stand up at least. All right, who has a line of sight to that guy? Daw. Maybe from over here? There you go. I'll take that. Duh, missing the 98s. To kill me. Well. <laughs> I know you're working on it, so I'm going to give you shit for it. Just don't make the map so dark. You know how in a lot of video games they say uh, turn up the brightness so you can just barely see the the uh, image on the left? 
No, screw that. I turned the brightness up all the way so I can completely clearly see every detail of that image on the left. There, no, there are no personal lights on this armor. I tried. Here. Hitting L. <laughs> it is... Do, 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 do. Defaults, isn't it? Wherever that would be. I don't see it. Where is it? What is it called? I should see it. Special weapons, energy, st health stun. Oh, yeah, because we would never need to see that, would we? Personal light, five. You are correct. All right, that guy's still way out there. You know what? Grab that, actually. And I guess we gotta send some guys over there. Like we have a choice. <laughs> There's no way in hell you're gonna make that shot. Don't even try it. Actually, you know what? That's almost in range. Well, you can tell by our battle stats that... Oh, and... The game itself? <laughs> oh, God. OVP. Ugh. Boo. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. All right. Oh, he might be the last guy, I think. There's all peek in here. Not even close. <laughs> Just not even close. All right, come on. Let's get closer with you as well. Uh, 16 or 30. Let's see what 30 looks like. Yeah, I'll take 11%. All right, 98. Nope, there is something in the way. I cannot make that shot. Try from one tile closer. There you go. And alive. We lost three. Oh, we lost five. More than I thought. Uh, great stats for everyone that survived. Again, excellent. And we got our bio suits back, which is the only reason that uh, we didn't abort because these are too valuable. <laughs> these are worth more than lives at this point. And we got two life hunters. And I guess that last guy uh, bled out as soon as uh, we left. So excellent. Lots of stuff to research. We can sell a couple of these. I've researched that. We can sell those. I've researched that. We can sell those. Those have no uses, so we'll just keep 10. There's a million bucks.
All right. Uh, just the one, I guess, but we'll send them both to, um, Crunkle Town. No. Where is our other base? It is, is it in Q base? Our prison base? Nope. Titanga? Australia? There it is. All right, congratulations on your promotion, Dorgo. And we lost Fox, Crowdio, Steve, Delta, and Nunez. Oh, Nunez, it's only a second run. No, never mind. he was an agent Nunez before. Ah, yes, oh, yeah, we can still do. <laughs> Thank you. Let's load the auto of Battlescape. There we go. See, it just looks great when it's bright. I got our little the diamonds. Yep. If we hadn't actually, you know, tried to leave in the beginning, I think we would have had almost everyone alive. <laughs> I don't think we would have lost anyone. All right, very good. I like uh, these uh, little TFTD things mixed in. I love them. What are these crystals from? They look familiar. Oh, not that one. Uh, that was five, right? We have five dead. Make sure we don't have anyone missing. Yeah, five. It's a little bloody. But hopefully we don't have to do that again. <laughs> we'll do a one and done on those. Uh, you are out of space, and I guess they are alien containment? No, they are... No, you are transferring. We'll find out soon. Hybrid worker. Alien hybrids are crossbreeds between humans and sectoids, created for infiltrating and monitoring Earth, as well as various other tasks related to the alien invasion. Even though hybrids are obviously inhuman in appearance, they possess a camouflage technology that allows them to walk among our people undisturbed. Their masters exercise a limited degree of telepathic control, but loyalty still largely depends on intimidation and indoctrination. The hybrid network operates very much like human intelligence organizations, and uses Earth-based equipment almost exclusively. Hybrid storage facility. Hybrids prepare and store emergency supplies for the alien infiltration forces. These supplies consist primarily of food adapted for consumption by the aliens. While not particularly dangerous, such places should be located and cleared. Kill the farmers. All right. More hybrid worker stuff. There's only three. It's only three of them. All right, let's get uh, these done since they haven't been researched yet. All right, we have Gamchop, Tribal, and Dana are back at the Citadel. And Cubase and Outpost. Cubase? All right, the uh, Gamchop, of course, has excellent training done. Tribal is straight up average all around. Lower, lower bravery, but we don't care about that. And good job, Scorch has a PSI strength of three. <laughs> See how long the Scorch lives. <laughs> Scorch 11. You are, you know, you're still 10 for one. So, you know, don't feel bad about that. Oh, I forgot to, um, darn it. All right, Theodore, Pucci, Agent Orion, uh, Citadel, Grungletown, Outpost, and Cubase. Outpost and Cubase. Excellent. So we have uh, Theodore, also with a four. Uh, no, you may not, Scorch. 
If you don't like people getting three PSI strength change, the lower bounds. <laughs> That's on you. Uh, incognito with a 78. Congratulations, Incognito. And that was the newest one then. All right, let's do this again since I forgot to load it. Five. All right, let's wait. Hey, random J. Barry, how's it going? Not only am I playing a mod to the best game of all time, the creator of the mod is here and the creator of OX, o, OpenXCOM Extended Plus, the parentheses now, is here as well. So you are among <laughs> the best of the XCOM crew between those two guys. All right, that is done. All right, let's wait for something to happen. I don't know if I have time to do a big mission. Titanga. All right, so are you our prison cells? Why are my prison cells full? Oh, did I send it? No. Oh, look at that. All right. <laughs> I guess, oh, Pinky Devil, what are you doing here? Oh, stuff. The Harvester. Oh, from an engineer. We'll get rid of the Pinky Devil, I guess. Uh, the Syndicate Scientist, we can get rid of at least one of those. All right. Then we'll send you back to the Devil's Den. Oh, man. If uh, Random Barry, if you are not in the OpenXCOM Discord, there is a huge community of people uh, that paint miniatures in there. Scorpion Hunter. All right. Uh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> and on this Christmas morning, we have been given the gift of the Death Spider. Uh, this giant spider is much faster and stronger than the standard type. It is able to chew through durable materials very fast. Oh, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Alright, Death Spider is done. Look at all this fun stuff. Alright, this is our main base, so, like, our, our goal is... Weapons here. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, let's get our weapons researched. Sonic Laboratory at Sky Eye is complete. Throw my dog. Ooh, I can. <laughs> well, I was not expecting that. Maybe one day when we are we don't need them, we'll just train. Hey, you know what? I can't afford the other soldiers right now. So we'll just... <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That would give me, you know, when we're all done, they would have a total of 60 uh, defense, which is actually pretty decent. Oh, look at this guy hiding in. I wonder when he's going to get doled out. Oh, those aren't done yet. All right, let's just go through all this stuff. We have two available, and we'll send it to you guys. I wish I had room for one more in here. Here's where we're going to need to redo everyone. Yeah, look at all that. I think uh, our HQ is going to need to take a little mission break due to the wounds. Oh, but hey, we haven't been losing these guys. So, 56. All right, 56 it is. There you go. That is correct. Yes, they have not been named. The way my program works uh, for cloning is it looks for unnamed officers that are training and turns them into named officers and transfers the stats over. Generally. All right, what are you making? It's taking forever. All right, we're making 200 alien alloys right there. Yep, 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 yep. Excellent. Uh, really fast stuff. Let's clear up our workshop space.
I did. All humans are case officers, all dogs are canines, all AIs are called Al. Really original stuff there. Helps me keep track of stuff. UAC rifle titanium clip. What else is super fast? That's fast. All right, and then we go up the list. I need these. How long will that take? 19 hours. I I need a good hybrid name, yeah. Shog Cudgel. A simple blunt weapon fashioned from a variety of materials available in Shog. 85 cutting damage with up to a bonus of 70. Holy F, no wonder. <laughs> no freaking wonder. Uh, armor is more effective. Okay, good to know. But still, who cares if armor is more effective when you do 150 damage? <laughs> well, shit, what were they killed me with? Oh, look at the hammer. Cyberweb Robosphere. Oh, this small robotic unit is fast, evasive, and well-armed. It is also covered with bulletproof, non-corrosive armor, but explosives or energy weapons will likely disable it. No, anything will disable the Robosphere. Even a sharp poke with a electric stick. All right. Let's get the hunter out of the way. The psionic laboratory. Oh, excellent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's right. We're in this space. Never mind. No need to sort. No, it just it adds. It adds straight up strength. All right, we got a small. Well, let's see what you are. Don't care. Just get in the damn craft. No, I mean, it's fine. It just explains why. All right, we got the scout going to Hawaii. The thunderstorms always had such low fuel. All right, Grungle Town. You know what? Um, Devil's Den. I feel like you've been getting uh, ignored. All right, let's uh, do 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 down to that man Zam. All right, I want one, two, three, four X's. Actually, I have twelve now, right? So we'll do three. No, that's fine. We'll do four X's, and then. There is a 90% chance that this is a Katanite. So I shouldn't need to worry about X's that much. Titanium gear. All right. Dark quest. All right. Did I save it with a light minigun? I must have. This is one I want to try. This is basically just like the flamethrower. In fact, um, who have we got here? Happy Hippo, Mad Lab, Shot Like. Show me your strength. Actually, show me your firing accuracy. Alright. No bad lab. Really? It's only 50 base? John Heavenly. There you go. You can get that fun gun. Mad lab has to go up front. And quote goes in the back. Mm -hmm. 
Don't care. Now I want pink later, don't I? Pink leader. <laughs> and another very small. All right. <laughs> One day I would upgrade this interceptor. One day. Excellent. You know what? I'm going to take a chance that you are going. Oh, what are you doing? Excellent. All right. I need to, before I do that, let's make those. But what I need to do is... You're looking for my base. You, my friend, are 100% a base. Yeah, we'll leave it. I think you're a base. And I think you will land and get up again in daylight. Yeah, you're looking for a base. What's wrong with my bases? What are you saying about my bases, man? You're totally going to land. I know you're going to do it. You're going to go back and land. Well, I think this would be a good chance to see how my... They are defensible. Okay, so the only problem I have is... That's defensible, man. I don't understand what the problem is. Bad guys come in here. And I kill them over here. That's how it works. How much... Do we need more alloys over that? Now, we got 100. Let's build... Um, that'll be fine. Then we'll build another 100 after this. After those. I knew it. Excellent. I knew you had to land. What have you guys are doing? You're landing twice. Alright, I'm going to assume we're fighting Katanites. You know, actually, let's just in case. I'll just do my stun kit. I do not have... Medkits on this crew yet. Uh, it's not automatically loaded the first time you bring it out. You, you, you always have to load it the first time. Alright. Non lethal kit. Chut like. Who is. Uh, da, da, da. All right, John Heavenly. We're going to take the Ivan kit, and what we're going to do is drop that and give you this. Did I bring extra ammo for that? I did. Basically the same thing. We don't need that. We'll see how that works. And I'll give you a reaction weapon as well. Mr. Lightning, you have been alive for so long, I don't want to mess with it. So I'm just going to give you this sniper rifle. You know what? We never play with it, and we should play with it more. And I don't care if you get experience anymore. So there you go. Enjoy. For reactions. Actually, for reactions. Rogue, that is three, four, five, five.
All right, again, we have a whole bunch of relatively weak guys, and then we have you. 62 is perfect for that. And reactions. Fifty five is just enough, I think. Five forty seven. I can do uh, that with a reload. Big shotgun. I don't use that shotgun anymore. I gotta get rid of it. I gotta get my med kits out to this base. Everyone's cannon fodder. I have no preferences. <laughs> I have no, no one gets special treatment. But mostly these UAC rifles. All right, we're good. Actually, the X, the, all my all my X guys, are um, are cannon fodder. In the grand scheme of things, I don't care if they die. Ooh, a Greek festival. Yeah, got like. What I say? A chat like? That's how he told me to pronounce it <laughs> a long time ago. Oh, that's nice. Right there. Uh, what thing? The uh, the stats right over right over here. <laughs> it's an honor and a requirement. No one trusts you if you haven't died yet. You got no street cred. Uh, those are my battlescape statistics. They are written in PHP. If you know how to install and run PHP, you can put this on your stream as well. In addition, it gives you the ability to uh, do my logistics and my clone soldiers thing. There is a link on my Discord with all the information you could ever want about to, uh, to the GitHub page where my code is repositoried. <laughs> Reposited. The install is rather easy. There's a little little thing you have to do when you install PHP to make it work. To get the uh, the YAML libraries working, but otherwise it should be rather plug and play. Plug and play ish. I think it's the right way to say that. Uh, I'm just gonna put you. We're gonna get you over here. I'm just gonna camp you over here. <laughs> you can just get the whole, uh, the whole front ready to go. All right, uh, two non-lethals over there. We'll get a non-lethal over here. I really should have looked this way. That was really dumb to put that guy there and not turn him around. Oh, Why? Well, thank you for the follow, gamerhead. I guess we can go for some more engineers while we're here. Especially with these guys. I wish I knew what you were. Did you actually survive a hit? You did. Look at you. Big, big boy. So proud. Oh, they grow up so fast. Now here's a gamble. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe I can do it from here as well. 
21. Excellent. Oh yeah, I don't even understand how auto equip equip works. <laughs> like what the logic is behind that. Pick random weapons. Throw in random slots. Done. Alright, let's go and get you Oh, I can almost hide you right behind there. It's tempting. this way. Do I have any smoke on you? Probably not, because you're always overloaded with that kit. That's a, a standard config thing that we can, you can just do for them. <laughs> I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I think it is an outhouse, yes. Yeah, we've seen those before. Right, I'm going to sneak you back there. I'm going to bring you... Can, do you snap or you're just auto only? All right, can you do me a solid... What's your aim? 50... Can you just do that? Yes, you can. And my dog. Looks like we're all good over here. Most everyone's inside. <laughs> yeah, yes! It worked in my favor. Good enough. Oh, they hit control D. Darn it. No one look at the screen. <laughs> no one look. I love I love having a break from tough enemies every once in a while. Like a nice relaxing uh group of aliens. It's nice. I think that's one of the things that um, Xenonauts completely got wrong is that it's just always the same difficulty all the, all the way through. And some people may like that. They, some people don't like the idea that you can actually overpower the aliens. I think they're wrong, but it's it's a valid design decision. OG and the new XCOM games. I think the new XCOM games uh, captured that feel really well. They went a little overboard with mimetic skin and stuff like that, but generally speaking, I think they did a pretty good job. I 
I don't think we need this anymore now that we're going inside. Yacht like, yacht like got his kill. We could probably actually just quickly P90 with these guys. Do you think this will be another terror mission? Like two of these terror missions? Back to not back to back, but pretty close. You don't think so? I think the Aquatoids, pretty much late game Aquatoids, are this. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, my face. Or anything above ground late game. It was pretty relaxing and tear from the deep. Good job. You just tank that. So we did the pre-armor uh, damage, but you took it like a champ. Although, bad place to stand, I think. We'll go like that. Bring you guys around. I think we might have got them all. What are you? Oh, nice. Engineer. I'll keep you. All right. So the soldiers have the rifles. Is that how that works? Oh, navigators. No. Cannot tell by loadouts. I guess we stun them all. Might as well. Hey, not cool, man. Go to bed. Talk to my daughter. Go to bed. All right, I think that's clear. I'll do a peek. Hey, Brim, how's it going? It's going pretty well. We just did a Shog Village. And a couple of these Katanites. I have not played Terraria for... Well, I think since it went public. That was a fun game to play through once. I don't know if I could do it again. Then, um, uh, what is that game called? It was Terraria-like, but in space, and it sort of went into development hell forever. Do you know what game that is? Starbound, yes! So I played that when it was an alpha. And, uh, I heard it got, it got better, but I don't know anything more about it at this point. Oh, nice. Right, they can still kick my face in. Keep that in mind with their plasma weapons. Yeah, we got so excited about that game. We had the whole uh, clan. We had a server up and running, and it went... <laughs> it's basically how, how the game went. And I think that was the last thing we tried to do together as a clan. We were just talking about that the other day. We stopped playing, like, the last real group game we played where we had, you know, like, a hundred people was, uh, EVE. And The Last of Us stopped playing EVE in 2009. So that's how long I've been since I've done any real, like, for reals multiplayer. I 
All right, that's all clear. Fastest way out. Can you get out through the roof? Nope. Everyone got old and got jobs, had kids. <laughs> Life's a rough man. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to just sit back here and let you see you see me. All right. Back up. Who do do do? I guess we have two. Can we make it? We can. Can he see me? No. <laughs> uh, the uh, the the big the secret OBP is that having children is not your choice. <laughs> Let me tell you that. That is not for you to decide. All right, I think I. Uh, nothing's moved in there, right? No. Oh. All right. The time the the money becomes less of an issue, uh, drastically. It's the time that becomes that uh, becomes a bottleneck. Where's my dog? Dog, dog. There you are. All right. There are two. Let's take a peek. Oh, I can't go that way. All right. This. Ooh, only had knockout grenades. All right. I should be able to get in a couple hits off this way. Yes, I still can't do anything there. He still can't see this door because he hasn't moved. Take this chance. I'll take this chance. Good luck, Swede. Nice. The last time we did a, a stun run. Good stuff. Good stuff. We could sell those. Uh, we're done with navigators. I don't know if we have one from you, so we'll hold on to that. And three engineers. Oh, we can actually look right now. Uh, I have researched one of your kind, one of your people. <laughs> Alright. Very good. So we can sell you... Alright, we have 16... Do I need more than 19 engineers? Plus, I think I have a couple more elsewhere. <laughs> I think we are good on engineers. Alright, we'll transfer these to Titanga. No, I mean it's you need you need a job. You cannot rely on YouTube to make a living or Twitch when they can completely demonetize you without even uh, giving you a second thought. You have to have a real job outside of streaming if that's what you want to do. Don't fall in that trap. We need a lot of dart pistol clips. All right, I think I think you are looking for my base. I'm gonna let it happen. You know, I'm gonna shoot this one down so I can see what it is. 
Oh, I'll probably destroy it. Uh, no, we'll leave it. I don't think I can... Uh... Oh, hold on. Is it... Uh... Very small. Yeah, there's no way. I will shoot that down without destroying it. The Shog Hammer. All right, this Terramite Hammer is a deadly weapon in, a st in strong hands. It usually wrecks armor, wrecks weak armor, and has a strong concussive effect. So we're talking 60 plus, uh, what's that, 7 times 8? So uh, like 120, 110. Plus armor pre-damage. Nice. That is a true two-handed weapon, though. Shog Staff. All right, let's see if we can just end this month. Now, Nunez, Delta, Fox, Crowdio, and Steve. God, this is going to be the rookie base again. This base is always full of rookies. Starting with Nunez, very nice. Uh, Delta, eh, your good Delta died, and we have not gotten a good roll since. Fox is pretty average across the board. Crowdio is slightly above average. Look at the, we have so many uh, number threes rolling. <laughs> I mean that's a full time job. Yeah, uh, that's a hundred percent true. All right, you can be successful on Steam or on on streaming, if that's what you want to go for. But you have to be good. It's not just uh, playing good games. You have to put a lot of work into it, and you have to be entertaining. And a lot of people just aren't entertaining. I am barely entertaining. <laughs> I just, just a little teeny bit. Just enough to keep, you know, I like having 15 to, to 30 people on stream. Like, that's, I don't actually want more, because I couldn't be, be able to talk to you guys if I had more than that. All right. Oh, where do these guys go? I got to pay attention to these. Throw that on there. I can actually... Let's do this. Let's really get these going. Now that I have some cash. All right. No, I can't do you yet. Oh, well. We'll just have you ready to go. <laughs> you know, it, it might... It, be, it does become a chore, and I, I don't know this from the streaming side of things, but when I was running my clans, when we had... Uh, when we got it hit up to three to four hundred people... It became less enjoyable just because it was just less personal. Now you're gonna have to make some cash. Shog staff. Uh, this metallic staff is made of terramite with minimal training. It can be used in hand-to-hand -hand combat with surprisingly good results. All these accuracy modifiers seem to be the same. Uh, this is strength plus melee. So that gives us a max of, what, 21, and uh, max melee is 100? Although we'd never get that high. You know, depending on where you live, Brandon, that might be illegal. Have any special bonuses? No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's a stick. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the Kite Knife. Scorpioid Hunter. These terrifying creatures live deep underground in small tribes. They are strong, tough, and deceptively stealthy. They mostly hunt other subterranean creatures for food, but sometimes also grow their own plants. Despite their brutish nature, they are fairly good with technology, which they receive from reptoids in exchange for mercenary work. Alright. Uh, let's get the robo turret out of there. Now, did we learn their stats? What is that under? Oh, yeah. All right. Fun stuff. Flame Spider. I wish we had more choke weapons. All right. 
Flame Spider Bite. That is quite good, isn't it? Oh, but it's straight incendiary damage, which is why we survived. A huge morale multiplier. All right. Straight up incendiary damage. Death Spider. I want to see what your bite looks like. Guess not. Scorpioid Combat Analysis. Resistant to cutting and chemical, so... It's a little tanky. That's decent armor, actually. That's good armor. Hybrid Combat Analysis. They are, of course, hybrid, so they are weak to everything. <laughs> Alright, very cool. Wah, wah. All right, I need some money. I need some money before you run out. That's what's it called? The um, cannon. Is the hold on? We got the something else that makes money. Let's uh, take a look at this, and that's thirty-four. And the other one was... Um, it's, it's a weapon. Weapon, 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 weapon. You, maybe? No, 29. We didn't even check these yet. 18. You know the Toxy Gun isn't good. We didn't check you, though. I, I don't see how this would be any different. 27. All right, so it's still the uh, the cannon. So that is not... Hold on. What is the alien laser cannon qualified as? No, oh, I guess I just didn't see it. Never mind. <laughs> oh man, I have I have games I will probably never get to. You know what? Actually, that's not true. I do wind up playing every game I have. I am on a game buying hiatus for a long time. I have been playing Heroes of a Broken Land, and that's sort of been holding me up. I have not been able to get through that game in any reasonable amount of time. All right, we're gonna leave off here. I'm gonna do this cow thing off the air because they are boring and not stopping for some reason. Uh, I will catch you guys on Friday. So remember, uh, for the new guys, we do uh, a potluck on Friday nights where you pick the game we play. Just type uh, this in chat and you'll be messaged by Stream Elements with the rules and how to choose. Uh, last week we played Dungeon Keeper and Rock and Roll Racing and it was actually pretty damn awesome. Thank you for the follow, Randomberry. Uh, otherwise, I will see you Friday. Hop on Discord if you want to chat and to get uh, updated when my videos hit YouTube. Adios, guys. <laughs>